great runner, this Aussie. In Geneva, where long ago the League of Nations made its bid for world peace, today the nations hold a very different meeting, the International Atoms for Peace Conference. It's the second of its kind, the first having been held in 1955, and the representatives of no fewer than 66 countries were present. Proof that the nations can cooperate in this atomic age. The peaceful aims of the conference were naturally stressed by Mr. Hammerschild, United Nations Secretary General. Close to the conference hall there's an exhibition of atomic equipment. To most of us, the exhibits are scientific mysteries, and of course only a few nations are in a position to stage a display. In the sphere of atoms for peace with accent on atomic power for industrial purposes, no country has as much progress to show as Great Britain. An early visitor was the British ambassador in Switzerland, Sir William Montague Pollock, who made a comprehensive tour of Britain's atomic shop window here. He must have found plenty of fascinating exhibits to see, for the British display is by far the biggest of them all at Geneva. In West Berlin, German...